Hi, I'm Jeff Murrah, and I want to welcome you to True Texas History, where today we are going to talk about uh, the Black Bean episode. Uh, now, local legend has it that one of the reasons why uh, Texans refuse to eat black beans uh, goes back to this episode. Now, I don't know if there's any truth to that, but it makes for an interesting story. <clears throat> now, the black bean episode, uh, this uh, ties into the Mir expedition. And uh, the Mir expedition, um, you know, a group of uh, Texans went down to punish the Mexicans for uh, a massacre of our men, uh, Dawson's massacre. But without taking a whole nother couple episodes to deal with it, uh, I wanted to go ahead and deal with the black beans today. Uh, to go ahead and set the frame for you, uh, the prisoners uh, recently had uh, an escape attempt. Uh, they're from Salado. Uh, the prisoners uh, went ahead and decided to escape, uh, going largely back to when they surrendered because uh, the Articles of Surrender said that all who give up their arms will be treated with the consideration which is in accordance with the magnanimous Mexican nation. Now, when the surrender went down, uh, that's not what the translator said. The translator said that uh, with all the honors and consideration of prisoners of war, which is uh, being treated according to uh, how you're supposed to be as a prisoner of war is very different than treated with the consideration uh, according to the magnanimous Mexican nation. Um, and so the men thought that they were going to be treated as prisoners of war. When that didn't happen, they tried to escape. Uh, you know, it was almost like the uh, Texas version of the Great Escape of uh, 193 men that attempted uh, the escape, only nine made it. So uh, it was pretty brutal. They rounded them up, took them back there, and uh, the men were in irons, and Santa Ana commanded every tenth man among them be shot. Now, Colonel Mejia uh, was an honorable man, and uh, he refused to have anything to do with uh, such a horrid uh, episode. Uh, but Santa Ana uh, figured that uh, one of uh, his subordinates would go ahead and carry out the order, which they did. Um, they were marched into a courtyard and a Mexican officer took an earthen m m m uh, jug and had the beans in it. Uh, now the Texans, uh, they went ahead and uh, they knew that there were 59 white beans and 17 black ones. And the men who drew the black beans were the ones that were going to be shot. Uh, the Texans didn't flinch. They knew what they were getting into and, and what was involved. Uh, the first person up was Captain uh, Ewan uh, Cameron. He was very instrumental in the escape. And he went ahead and went to the front of the line. And uh, he said, well, boys, we have to draw. So... Let's be at it. And uh, Ewan Cameron drew a white bean. Of course, he felt bad because he knew that that meant that uh, someone was going to die, that 17 of his comrades were going to end up uh, suffering. And uh, the men drew that day, and then as it got to be toward evening, they were marched to another courtyard and uh, shot. Now, the story doesn't end there. Uh, they were shot and shot and shot and shot. Some of the men had been shot by the Mexican soldiers 15 times. I mean, uh, talk about overkill and talk about uh, vindictive. Uh, that's definitely vindictive. Uh, now, uh, also vindictive uh, was the fact that Santa Ana had it in for you and Cameron because he... Uh, was the ringleader, and he gave special orders that uh, no matter what bean he drew, he was going to be shot, and he was shot uh, later on uh, in April. The men, rather than being freed uh, or taken to the border and exchanged like 
they were originally kind of talked uh, to about were instead marched deeper into Mexico to uh, Parodi Prison. Um, and uh, they were pretty much going to stay there until the Mexican War when uh, some of our, well, Texas Rangers uh, and uh, troops stormed the building and freed the men uh, that were still there. Uh, this is one of those dark episodes uh, in Texas history. Uh, people forget about uh, the amount of animosity uh, that was shown. I mean, shooting him 15 times. Uh, and, and bear in mind also, I, I don't believe I pointed this out with the Alamo, that uh, you know, after the bodies of some of the defenders were shown to Santa Ana, he purposely went ahead and stabbed them again and again repeatedly to make sure that those people at the Alamo were surely dead. This is uh, brutal animal-like behavior. Um, this gives you an idea of uh, the kind of man Santa Ana was and how vindictive he was. Um, and the whole Black Bean episode, uh, when word got to Texas, uh, people were furious and uh, we developed a, uh, a guard. Uh, essentially, the military prepared itself and they saw to it that uh, the border was guarded uh, and the Texas Rangers were doing it. Now, keep in mind uh, that, uh, you know, the current Border Patrol was actually modeled after some of the uh, border securities and patrol stuff uh, activities uh, that Texas had undertaken beforehand. Um long before there were border problems with the U.S. Uh, in other parts of the U.S. There were always border difficulties in Texas. So um, I wanted to go ahead and point that uh, interesting tidbit out. But until next time, uh, this is Jeff Murrow wishing you via con Dios. If you have any questions, concerns, feel free to leave them below. I love getting email um, and comments. So uh, we'll see you later. Via con Dios.